This video introduces simulates composites link for CATIA V5. Development of a composite model usually begins with a sizing analysis model using laminates or sections defined on finite elements. Composites link can be used to import this data to create zones within CATIA V5. Composites link supports the development of composite parts both in terms of initial zonal definition and also applied definitions which are necessary for manufacturing the part. Composites link for the CATIA V5 composites design environment allows designers and analysts to communicate effectively during the composites development process. This saves time, improves product quality and prevents costly errors. The transfer is bi-directional or two-way. This means preliminary analysis work performed in the FE package can be brought into the design environment to allow detailed design to be based on the analysis model. Once the composite is fully defined, the layout model can be passed back to the analysis environment to verify the design. This example uses Composites Modeler and Abacus CAE, but any analysis product using Simulates technology will work in a similar way. This video will demonstrate the use of Composites Link with five scenarios. Firstly, importing zones created in an analysis package into CATIA V5. And then two ways of exporting plies, firstly to a mesh already created in the analysis tool, and the second one with a mesh created in CATIA. Then we'll show plies imported back from the analysis tool, and also a quick case study with multi-part products. Those familiar with Nastran will recognize the concept of PCOMP cards. These are imported directly from a Nastran input deck, or BDF file, to create zones within CATIA V5. The relevant parts of the input deck are shown here within a typical format. This includes the PCOMP card to define the zone composition, the CQUAD4 to indicate the extent of the zones in terms of the elements, the MAT8 material definitions, and any relevant coordinate systems to be used as rosette. In this first example, we'll show the import of zones from an analysis model onto a CATIA V5 model, in this case a typical turbine blade. The first task is to set up the composites parameters within CATIA V5 CPD, and that includes importing materials that have previously been created. Following this, we need to set up the zone groups into which the zones will be imported, and to do so we need to select the underlying surface onto which the zones will be defined and also the rosette to which they will be related. Once we've done this, we can select the Composites Link toolbar, shown in the top right here, and using the Import function, we can import either a BDF file or a .dat file, which are both typical Nastran input deck formats. We need to select the zone group that we've previously created to import them into, but the materials definition within this model is different from within the Nastran BDF file, so we have to actually relate the materials that we're using in CATIA to those within the input deck. The boundaries of the zones are then defined on the surfaces within this zone group, and the designer can clean up the boundary definitions uh, in order to create the ply definitions within CPD. The designer will then either clean up the zones imported, create new zones and then define the plies, or alternatively the composites designer may define free plies without reference to zones at all. Either way, at a suitable point in the development, it will be necessary to verify the design by the use of analysis. Composites Link supports this by exporting the ply definitions and allowing them to be used with an analysis package such as Abacus CAE using the Composites Modeler application. Once the designer has defined the ply stacking in CATIA V5, Composites Link exports the entire ply model to a layout file. A ply group on the entire ply stack created in the CPD can be exported to a layout file. This data can then be used by any analysis tool using Simulate's layout technology, such as Simulate's Composites Modeler for Abacus CAE. The Export Ply function is selected from the Composites Link toolbar which brings up a menu allowing you to select entire, either the entire stacking or selected groups. There are a number of options regarding the tolerance of the export, and then we select 
a appropriate name for the layout file. Once we hit apply, the ply stacking is exported to the layout file which can then be used in the analysis application. It's possible to look at the layout file in an application such as Composites Modeler for Abacus as shown here. If we read in the layout file, we can see that the information exported from Gatia includes a tessellated version of the model showing the ply boundaries. It also includes the materials definition as shown in this form here. And this will have analysis information if it's included in Gatia. And also all the plies and ply stacking is, is contained within the layout file. The import process in Composites Modeler is also straightforward. The plies are mapped onto an existing mesh and the sequence information is used to generate the layout. The analyst then completes detailed ply level analysis to identify the problems. We first create an empty layout file on which to map the information from Katia. We then select the map from the existing layout files and then from Composites Modeler will then use all the elements of the existing mesh to m use a core sampling from the design layout to the analysis layout. We now have all the ply information mapped onto the mesh. As you can see here we have the layout, we have individual plies and we also have the materials that have been imported. The ply definitions, we can step through and see the extents of those or we can edit the sequence file as shown here to show various plies in order and again this could be modified if necessary. If we look at the analysis model itself you can see that the materials information has been brought across and that has included analysis information. It may be necessary to add to this to complete the analysis. Back in Composites Modeler we now need to create the properties and the various sections that we're going to use within the analysis model. For this example we will use sections rather than CAE layouts and we'll use the default settings which includes various tolerance settings for the mapping. Properties have now been created within the CAE model as you can see within the model tree here or we can visualize by selecting sections from the visualization pane or if we edit the sections themselves you can see information has been brought across from the layout file. An alternative method involves the use of Katia meshing if it's available. A mesh that is created within Katia can be exported using Composites Link and similarly the layout file information that's been contained within the CPD file will also be exported and also then imported into the analysis package. You can now see the same model within the Katia analysis package. The model has been fully meshed. If we now select the reference part underneath it we have access to the Composites link and when we now export apply we have some other options of exporting the finite element model and a core sample to export the apply information again giving the layout file appropriate name hitting apply we can then export that data to a layout file which we can then read into our analysis package now if we transfer to the analysis package, in this case Abacus, and we have start with a blank model, we can import that layout file that we've just created. And this time not only does it include all the ply information, materials information, but the mesh is imported too. So when we look at the plies on that, we can see that the definitions are supported by the underlying mesh. If we pop back into the model tree, we can see all that information has also come through ready for use in uh, CAE but first we have to create the properties as we did previously. Of course it is important to capture any changes made during the analysis process. This is done by saving a new layout file and importing this into Katia v5 using Composites Link. This will allow the user to review the changes to the existing stacking. So in this example we have taken the blade model that we re reviewed earlier and we've had some reinforcement to the root of the blade. These reinforcements have been added to the stack in two places, uh, position 1 and position 10. 
to the existing